So today we're talking about uh, AbSumo, a deal called AdSoup. And let's see how it stacks up against the likes of ConvertFox, a uh, new one on the blog called CustomerLead.io. And then we have uh, Verloop and all kind of shit like that, right? So let's see how it stacks up. Uh, when you first come in here, man, it looks kind of weird. But uh, uh, when you're going to redeem your shit, you need to go to billing. And then it's going to like kind of have you on hold to like get to billing, which is kind of weird. But just hold on, and then it's going to transfer you to billing.adsoup.io. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> it just takes a while to load up or whatever. And then you get there, and then it says you've already subscribed to your AppSumo plan or whatever. Or just it'll have your coupon code right here you can put in there. And then that's done, right? And so now uh, it'll kind of transfer uh, you back or whatever when you get over here to the AppSoup. So let's get back and wait again. Now we're back inside the, inside the app. So now what you want to do is they kind of start you off with like uh, this guy leaving you a message or whatever. And you can see uh, he'll have a lead sitting in here. So it's kind of busy, uh, you know, because like you're kind of trying to figure out, you know, uh, you know, who's doing what. So here's the Benjamin guy. It starts you off with a lead and shows, you, you know, so now what this does is it's just another chat app, right? Another bot chat app to put on your website. And now what's really cool about this, though, I will say this, is you can uh, have it in different places, right? So let's. So these are all your pipelines, and it's kind of trying to be a CRM, which it's a little busy for that as far as I'm concerned. But they do have live chat, SMSs, Twitter, WhatsApp, WhatsApp business and so you can connect this to all of your all of your social media shit right so you have a live chat that's on your website you also can so if we go back to settings so here's your channels right here let's talk about this so you can connect live chat which you have to put on your website and then you have some type of custom leads and then you have Facebook so what you can do is you can have your Facebook messenger connected to this to also get ads now i will say this not one other platform that we've all known about uh even customerly.io the new new guy on the block no right he doesn't even have an ltd so don't look and you can go ask him but he doesn't yet uh convert fox they just added a chat but they do not have the messenger portion of it um they said they're going to add it but they haven't yet verloop has promised to come with the facebook messenger but they haven't Right. So, so far, this is the only app to have come through and say that it's connected. I haven't used it yet, but they say it's connected, you know. So now what they have SMS, they have Twitter, uh, uh, WhatsApp and whatever these lines. Are. I don't know what this is. And so then you have to go like download all of their shit. It's a bit busy and it feels a bit raw. Right. And it's too much shit going on. So you do have where you can uh, stage your pipeline right here and. It doesn't show where I can add more than one pipeline, but I can add stages. Imagine that, right? So as of right now, it's kind of feeling like it wants to be like a kind of flexi CRM with a chat. This right here is just like, please, uh, flexi, add a chat so we can not buy this garbage, right? But as of right now... I'm not liking it. It feels a bit busy and it feels like it's trying to do too much. I feel like a chat app should be a chat app and that's it. And it shouldn't try to be everything else. Right. But that's cool. So that's just me saying that, but let's move on through that. So you saw what you can do, right? So, uh, here's where you would get your new, uh, leads from. There's no leads there. Here's a working. So this guy is a new lead. And then what it did is it said, give this guy to a sales guy. And then I assigned him to me. Okay. And so then you can send this guy chats if he's on your website or if he's on WhatsApp or whatever social platform he's on, you can send him chats and talk to him like that. And then you can add him. You can uh, here. You can see you can add a new lead if you want to put the names and addresses like you can physically put one in there. And then I guess you can add them to the pipeline and then move them qualified, blah, blah, blah. Right. So it's cool. So it's not really a whole bunch of moving parts right so here you can see uh all of your deals and like i said it looks a little busy to me but you can see your your pipeline value like which is really good to have that because knowing the pipeline value is really important 
So when you have a pipeline, uh, you want to know that you can probably convert like 20% of your leads, right? So if you have a pipeline for like a million bucks, you know you got at least like $200,000 worth of business uh, if you're working, right? You know you have $200,000 worth of business. So knowing the pipeline value is important. And then you have your deals, right? So you know who you're dealing with. Uh, new leads, qualified, converted leads, all this stuff is really good to know at a bird's eye view. I like that. Uh, and then uh, why you lost it and then the deals that are on hold, et cetera, which is really cool. And then the channels, which is cool, right? So they have a staff breakout, which is right here. Uh, and so like here's Sonny, which is me. And this is like why I put in why I lost a deal or whatever. So you can look at each staff and see their shit. Or here's a channel breakout. So now you can just look at per channel what you have going on. I do like this breakdown. It's a lot of shit going on. I think it could be laid out better, but I do like the information. Seeing all this stuff at a, at a, you know, really quickly can give you a really good idea of what your business is doing. And you can see like, hey, man, I need to pick up my my feed on Facebook or, you know, I'm not getting enough uh, lead gen for my live chat or what's going on there. And then you can see who's dropping the ball, which is really good. So you can see what sales guy is fucking up. So I do like that. Um, and then it just gives you all of this. And it's just really busy man i'm not gonna lie about that this i don't like how busy this is i think it could be presented better but i do like the information right and so here you have an offline and online button here uh your help section so to open uh to open the help section or whatever and then that's it man so you have your settings which you already saw uh and then you have your leads right here and who they who your leads are or whatever and I didn't see a way to connect it to my CRM. I'm not 100% sure because it's trying to be a CRM. So I'm not going to tell you that it can't do it. I'm pretty sure it does have some type of API or something like that. Uh, and you can connect certain things, but I just haven't seen where. Okay. So here's your channels. And you do have a profile, right? So you can add your email signature. Here's your language and notifications. And then... Uh, here's uh, your business. So here's your staff adding people. Uh, and I think you get up to five. And if you stack this deal, you can get five more, five more, five more, kind of make it an agency thing. Right. And so here's your business logos and everything that you need right there. And then your channels, like I said, and you can edit your pipeline. Now here, I don't know what you can connect. And I know you can connect things for your email, uh, but I don't know what else you can connect. And I don't see anywhere where you can add a CRM. And now, because it's trying to be a CRM, I don't know. But for me, I, a chat is a chat bot and a CRM is a CRM. Uh, but these things are kind of trying to do like uh, Intercom. And I've been noticing that with Intercom, uh, you can do kind of a CRM thing. A lot of people send out emails with Intercom. Uh, they work their leads from Intercom. And they're kind of using it like a CRM, right? And I think that works but not for this <laughs> because right now I think this is really raw. Um, I hear they have a really good roadmap, but I don't sell fucking roadmaps. And you know what? Let me tell you about the AppSumo selling roadmaps. They do really well with talking a good game on AppSumo saying they're going to fucking come through with a lot of shit. But there's only been one guy so far that I've seen come through with a roadmap and really get aggressive, and that's Plutio. Leo from Plutio has really done his thing with the roadmap. Convert Fox has been pretty aggressive, but they haven't completed everything, but they have been really aggressive and completing. There's a, everybody else is like kind of faded into the background, right? So that I tell you that there's been a few apps. Now, don't quote me on this, but there has been a few apps that have said, hey, we're going to have an aggressive roadmap. We're going to do this. And they did kind of move towards their roadmap and they did a good job. But then there have been a lot that's just kind of like faded in the background. They talked a big game and they said they're going to have a lot of shit and they haven't done anything, right? And But you can see with certain apps, a year is enough to have done and completed your, your roadmap or whatever, right? Some people just took the money that they made on AppSumo, ran off and had a vacation in Thailand, and others actually take, took it and put it in towards development. These guys are already in Thailand. <laughs> So that'll kind of tell you what could happen with your cash, right? So anyway, so what is my uh, predictions on AdSoup? I have no idea what they're going to do. I think it's a little busy. I think that some people are going to get confused with trying to use it. Um, but for what it is, um, for using on your client's website, because a lot of you guys have agencies, right? So because you can use a lot of users, but I don't see where you can like a lot of you guys, you know, we know that you use this 
for your clients and you don't want your other clients to see what your other clients are doing, right? So, so in other words, can you sell the seats? And I don't think you can. I'm not 100% sure on that, right? So, uh, but just check it out, man. You get a, what is it, three month or six month trial or some shit? It's a pretty good trial. So sign in, use the free trial before you buy it. And if you can, you know, sell it to your clients, then I would say it's a good buy for 49 bucks. And I would stack it and get as much as you can. So I think you can stack up to five or some shit like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm not all on AppSumo's website as much as I used to be. But uh, I think that this is an okay deal. If you're going to say, Sonny, should I buy this? And I'm like, if you don't already have ConvertFox, if you don't have Verloop and you don't have I don't know what other shit that was out like this, man, but those two that we already know. But if you already have Verlu, I'm going to say buy this, right? Uh, because Verlu doesn't do as much as this does yet. If you have ConvertFox, I'm going to say no. ConvertFox has a very aggressive roadmap. Uh, they know what they're doing. They've added in the chatbot. I don't think it'll be long before they add in the messenger. I say use uh, ConvertFox. ConvertFox is laid out very nicely. Um, a lot of people are confused on how to use it, but I don't think you'll be any less confused with this. So if you have ConvertFox, I say, no, don't buy this. Um, a lot of people are going to ask me, is Customerly IO going to be an LTD? I'm in talks with them. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you that that's going to go well. And if I do get the Customerly IO, um, uh, if I do get the, the deal, it's going to blow this away. So that'll be your answer to that. So, in other words, do I think it's better? And the answer is yes, it is much better. I'm not going to review it right now because I want to wait until I get the LTD or whoever gets it. It doesn't matter. Then I'll review it. But uh, as of right now, I'm going to say if you don't have it, I'll repeat myself. If you don't have ConvertFox, buy this. If you do, don't. If you have Verloop and you're like, well, should I blah, blah, blah. Yes, go ahead and buy this because this is different from Verloop and it offers a bit more. In some areas, Verloop is a very good deal for what it is. This offers a little bit more, but this doesn't offer a bot. Imagine that, right? So you kind of, what we're doing, and ConvertFox did that, they added a bot now to ConvertFox. So you do have a bot and you have the live chat function, right? Um, which is really cool. So they're like the only ones that have actually done that. Verloop is a bot and you have live chat, um, and but ConvertFox has a CRM part that this part offers, right? So that's why I'm telling you, if you have ConvertFox, don't fucking buy this. You don't need it. Um, if you're new to AppSumo and you know, you're like, shit, I, I got to buy this, I got to buy this, and you haven't bought anything that I've mentioned, you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, go ahead and buy it. <laughs> All right, guys, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I'll see you guys later.